So I would say to a young LGBTQ plus person that engineering is definitely something that you should consider. It's uh, it, you don't have to be highly technical and achieving great grades in maths. It's a common misconception and it's a big reason why we don't attract a lot of people to the profession. Yes, it is quite a mathematical uh, course, but you have so much creativity that you can offer um, to engineering. And there are so many different types of engineers and different entry points as well. You can pursue apprenticeships, you can pursue studies at university, you can pursue traineeships, you can get in just on work experience and working your way up. You can do part-time learning at college and also working in industry or from 2020 onwards, there'll be routes into industry through um, T levels, which are equivalent to A levels, but have um, more of a focus on technical qualifications. So there are lots of ways to come in to the industry. And I think that sometimes if you're LGBTQ+, and you're not having such a great time um, coming to terms with your sexual orientation or gender identity, or you're not being that well supported, your mind is maybe somewhere else th than focusing on your longer term career. You're just trying to get through the day to day now and the, the you know, month, month by month. What I would say is, is that engineering companies need talent, that the sector needs people to come in and organizations recognize that. And they are trying their hardest to create a culture where everyone is welcome, trying to myth bust what it means to be an engineer who engineers are. So if you are an LGBTQ plus youth group or you're an LGBT, you're a youth worker who works with young people in this space, definitely, definitely, definitely get in touch with a local engineering organization. Invite them along to come and give talks about what it's like to be an engineer. Get in touch with the ICE or with Inter Engineering to find out if you've got a local volunteer who can come along and talk at one of the, the youth clubs. Um, to talk about what it's like being an engineer, because only when people see role models and people talking openly and authentically about their sexuality, their sexual orientation, and what they do as a job, that's when people then see people like them and then maybe will aspire to, to be an engineer. So I definitely think an outreach programme focusing in on LGBT youth clubs to promote career and opportunities in engineering is something that we need to do as a profession.